their future is secure, but they're competing for an SEC title. This ought to be a huge matchup here tonight, Clay. Jump shot it into Radford. Levesque has it now. Guarded by Mack. What a slip there. Five them size on the interior. Rim protection as well, Clay. South Carolina starting five. Johnson, Davis, Cooper, B.J. Mack out to a great start. Got in the passing lane. Radford kind of does it all. Scores, rebounds, defends, and now he's fouled. One of the determinants that have kept them from being consistent, Clay. They got slammed. Well, and I thought that was a terrific way to look at it. And that's the truth, right? Whatever. Talon Cooper skips it across for Michi Johnson. And there is Murray. On the Gamecocks. As the Gamecocks want to be very patient. Talon Cooper falling away. Murray Boyles underneath. Last three seasons there. So it's a tough team to beat in Neville Arena. But they bounce back with a quality win and have their confidence now. Well, Radford has got a lot of confidence tonight. Didn't get it that time. Texas A&M in transition. Here's Solo Washington going in for the slam. Also hurts us in getting back in defensive transition. But when we had the opportunity. Athletic players on the Aggies team. I would say he's one of the more athletic players in the. Here's Solo with five to shoot. Working on Cooper, falling away, and it rattles home. How about that? And South Carolina will do. They bring it out to set up. They're one of the slowest offenses in the country. And that's a nice 1,000-point score transfer from the Citadel. He actually averaged 16 and 7 his senior year. Well, best. Well, South Carolina already with five team fouls. And Buzz Williams said that, you know, first one getting to the bonus is going to have a real advantage. Cooper, the veteran point guard. Big addition out of the transfer portal this year for Carolina. Johnson Ooh. rattles home a long three. He smells trouble. 20-plus points on seven occasions this season. Solo Johnson. Offensive funk coming into this game. Let's see if he can string two baskets in a row together. He's going to draw the contact. And there was a chip on his shoulder, you know? There was a certain quiet confidence that he had in college basketball success, or is not comparable because of the job that he's done. Held the Rebels to a season-low 59 points, and they are really doing a good job on AM so far. In this season is the way that they're defending people, right? You think about the shoulder. I'm going to get skilled guys that play the game the way I want to play the game. Now, trying to pad their resume. On the road here tonight, four to shoot, and that's slapped away, and Ugasuk is going to pick up the foul. White, who's now at Georgia, was included in that run as well. They actually played each other. 25. That foul was actually called on Johnson. Go run. They're, you know, but they're both certainly good enough, but the Aggies with their wins over Iowa State, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Jacoby Wright will try a three. Nothing. Backside rebound, Boots Radford. He'll wait for reinforcements. And now Taylor is booked. Right, and we talked about Wade Taylor the fourth. Preseason SEC for off. Guys like Henry Coleman, Garcia, Levesque, and Jace Carter. And just one and done for AM. Murray Boyles is fouled. A jump shot doesn't go for Cooper. And a foul. Oh, there we so, go. But they're certainly not bigger and stronger than the Gamecocks. He doesn't have a field goal yet. He's 0 for 3 from the field, but hitting foul shots. He you notice the pointing. They're blitzing ball screens right now. Trying to force South Carolina to speed up for Lamont Paris team. Johnson going to work, and he's going to be fouled going up. Johnson at the line. About when he put up those 29 points over Notre Dame in the ACC. Locked in the last few weeks for South Carolina. Radford got his own miss, tipped it up and in. Yeah, nice battle in Utah. Five. Taylor, short, but he's going. In the country, and I, you know, I asked him point blank today. Has found the right mix of whatever it is to get wins on the road. Well, then you sweep. 
Obasaki, nice move around Davis, but Davis stood his ground. Bright future. Cooper, back on the perimeter. Dibba attacks, and he got it. Well, he actually played for my former coach, Coach Cliff Ellis, who retired this year. Leading five for the Gamecocks. Nice. Garcia, what an adjustment mid-air. With the Gamecocks, it's sticking a little bit right now for the Aggies. Davis attacks and got the bounce. Nice. Murray Boyles. You know, he's hard to stop when he gets them down. They don't need to settle. They need to get to the rim. There you go. Coleman off a nice little dish across. Rick Garcia, another rip off the rim. And Taylor floats it up and in, and we need to see more. Oh, for eight from three combined. And as a team, AM, and m 0 for 10. Oh, had to be. He should have just went directly to the rim. There's not huge rim protection on either one of these teams. Attack the glass and duck it. Bradford throws it up a little wildly. Cooper into the front court. Finds a seam oh. and then passes back for Davis. For an LSU loss, he said, I talked to the guys about what you've already completed, and that's something that helped them continue to gain their confidence to get it back. South Carolina, 13 assists on 15 field goals. And that wow. three goes down. Advocate for his team a little bit, Clay. Just stand in the ear of the officials. Let them know you're there. Radford. To get to the line versus focusing on making the shot. That's what they need to do here in the second half. Nice left hand and finish by Tony. Cooper for three. Yes. Pretty. Aggies help. That's putting them at a disadvantage and in closeout positions that the Gamecocks are taking advantage of. Radford knocks down a two. Davis floats it up and in. Much better. Like that speed of, of South Carolina set going chest to chest defensively. And that time they do finish with Garcia. It's a 15 foul on the Gamecocks. Radford. Nice stick back on the backside by Wilson. Misses the shot. 8 0 run for AM. Carter. It's 11 of 14 at the stripe tonight. And he'll get the bounce. And they're starting to come back now. It's a 9 0 run. As you look at Carter's. He's played 85 games with 69 starts in three seasons. First point since those five early. And battling in spite of the struggles from the perimeter. Obasaki just snaking. If they can get a basket here, this crowd would explode. Manny Obasaki, the guy hunting to do it. And he's going to go to the line. Amongst bench players, uh, in averaging about 5.2 points. And when you have a team that's scoring, and you have a talent like Manny Obasaki. Carolina 0 for its last seven. Washington, yes! And for the first... I look for this basketball to end up in the hands of Cooper or Michi Johnson. Michi Johnson, you're Strong. right! He gets his eyes focused on the glass to convert. But he can't hit the free throw. Reed Arena for the Aggies. Let's see if the fans can keep them energetic. Cooper Woo. got the three. By Talon Cooper. Talon Cooper with eight points, all of them here in the second half. At the same time, if you're going to get that fifth foul, you want to get it at the right way. You don't want to be... Davis skips it across. Cooper, shot fake. Extra pass. Underneath, Gray. Can't finish, Ooh. but there is... Well, that's being aggressive. While still being smart, for yeah. sure. Bradford. Yes! Second three of the night. Harry Coleman back on the floor for the Aggies. He's played just ten minutes tonight. Bradford. Nice adjustment to get that. Wide open, Cooper. He gets enough of the paint. He is three for three from three point land. 11 points for Cooper. And foul. It has not been vintage. Got them both. Wow. 19 of. 
rookie working hard. Got it, Murray. B.J. Mack looking for help. Michi Johnson dials up a three. Tipped up and in. Zach. Radford has his pocket picked. Johnson in free flight. And he'll lay it up and in. Johnson going to work again. Got it and foul. A three-point play, and just like that, it's back to an Eagles also playing with four for South Carolina. In college basketball. So low the row. They had to put one more second back on the clock. There's Boots Radford, floats it up. That was partially blocked. Radford gets it back. Throws up a wild shot and a ranked opponent this year at home for Texas A&M and they beat Kentucky and Tennessee here. Can they do it against South Carolina? Ob Obasaki completes the three-point play. And Cooper doesn't hit. Down to Texas A&M. Taylor got it. Seconds. Michi Johnson attacks. Good pass. Yes. Davis. That's why they stopped it. Taylor lost it. Unbelievable. And that's going to do it. So this game ends in a thud for Texas. Reed Arena with a 70 to 68 win. Their sixth SEC road win. Second most all time to, to score at the free throw line, but once again, a hungry team goes down to the South Carolina Gamecocks. 70 to 68, the final for Damian Fishback.